sometimes you just need to bring other things with you, snacks and things. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back. Today is gonna to be a bit of a tough video for my wallet because we're going through the art supplies that I regret purchasing and why. These are just all products that I personally regret buying. If you have them and love them, then that's great. And I'm happy that you're actually getting use out of them. First product is Tombow Jewel brush pen. When I first started doing sketching and art, I was absolutely obsessed with these pens. You probably have heard of them before. They're pretty popular here on YouTube. The reason why I regret buying them is because I just brought so many different colors. This isn't all of them. These are just the ones I can find right now. The reason I don't use them at my sketching now is because they are water soluble. When you mix them with watercolor, they just bleed everywhere, which can be a nice effect if you can figure out how to control it. But personally, if I want a watery effect, I'm just gonna use watercolor. So minus these two grays, which actually do come in handy sometimes for like doing shadows and stuff, I would say all of these colored Tombows just I don't use them. The next one is kind of a genre of art supply and that is my silk painting supplies. I really randomly got into silk painting a few months ago um, because I just sort of suddenly realized that you could paint on silk and I just never thought of it before. So I went a bit crazy and I bought all of these silk dyes and all of these like Guta pens and I also bought loads of silk. Yeah, I really went for it. I then also bought <laughs> this silk stretcher bar from Amazon, which now I just have sitting in my room and it's just using up a lot of space. So basically what happened with the silk painting is I did really love it, but I realized that I have no space for it. I just moved all my art stuff into a room downstairs in our house which has beige carpet. So trying to start doing silk painting in a relatively small to medium sized room with white carpets just isn't working for me. It was really stressful trying to fit my silk painting stuff in with everything else. And I don't regret doing the silk painting because I've actually found it really, really fun. I just don't think it's the right time for me to start doing a lot of silk painting at the moment because yeah, you just don't have the space. Now the next one is the Etcher Slate, which might surprise some of you because I love Etcher and I love their products. And I also have their filled case, which I really, really love. And I use that every time I go out urban sketching. But I got this slate and I have been waiting for probably over a year now to do a review of it, but Something kept putting me off and I think it was because I realized that it is too thin. Basically, if you don't know what the Etcher Slate is, it is a big, oh, I don't even know what's in here. This is hard and basically you can put your sketchbook or your paper or whatever you're using on there and draw with it. And the idea is that you can, it's quite portable so you can go around with it and set it up in different ways and then you can put all your art supplies in this section here. I, when I first got this, I was very excited about the idea and I became very nerdy about it and was gonna figure out the best configuration for it. I did take it out sketching quite a lot, uh, but over time, I think I've just realized when you're going out and about sketching, it doesn't carry other things. All it can carry is your art supplies. I would have to carry this and then I would also have to bring another bag. So I used to bring like a fabric tote bag with all my other stuff in it, like my purse. You can't fit much in this front pocket here. So it does have this zip pocket here, which, oh, there's some tape. Uh, so it's got that zip pocket there and then it has this pocket here. Oh yeah, you can see my water bottle. So I had this water bottle in here um, and it's one of those flat water bottles and so that actually did fit in there but sometimes you just need to bring other things with you when you're going out and about sketching like snacks and things <laughs> like especially if I was going on a big hike or something and, and wanted to bring my sketching stuff it was just too awkward I had to buy another strap for it and I kind of turned it into a rucksack even though it's not supposed to be a rucksack um, it's supposed to just go like crossbody like this, but I bought another strap for it and turned it into a backpack. But the problem with that is 
it's really hard. So you'd be walking and this hard thing would be hitting into your back and anyway, I've been talking about this for quite a long time. All of that is to say, I don't use it anymore. And it was quite expensive. It's a nice idea, but for me, the field case in a bag is just perfectly fine for me. Also recently I've become a bit of a handbag addict, so I like nice handbags at the moment. Um, and this, it's all right, but it's not, it's not the prettiest thing in the world. So I prefer some of my other bags. The next art supply that I regret buying is this Fabriano sketchbook. Basically, I just realized that I hate all ring binder sketchbooks. It just annoys me. I don't know why. I can't really explain why, but there's just something about it that I just really don't like. Let me know in the comments if you also have this issue with ring binder sketchbook. And so you can probably tell from the fact that I've only done one sketch. I actually like this sketch, but I've only done one sketch in it the whole time that I've had it. And it's quite a shame because the paper is really nice and I probably should just suck it up and use it. Also, it just has this weird window at the front, which I guess you could just use for doing a little painting or something, but I'm almost too scared to, to use it. So I've just, <laughs> it's just got a weird hole in the front, which isn't very helpful, especially if it rains. So they are all the products that I wish I hadn't bought. Let me know in the comments if you have similar regrets or if you have some other products that you regret buying. And I'll see you again for hopefully a more positive video.